So we're starting with this video uh, with the problem that we want to classify whether we have day or night images and so for that uh, I'm going to show you some of the images that perform that um, that are going to show us that problem so here we have a night image another night image and now next we're going to see um, a day image okay so it's one like that so I have this small data set that has uh, 10 images five for uh, daylight and for five for for night okay so um, we're going to start the problem by defining itself I mean it's gonna be uh, we want to classify day or night images based on that and uh, for that we have a database that has 10 images okay so we're going to call this uh, D which is going to be equal to 10 images okay so uh, for that we have this data set of positive images that belongs to a vectorial space of m times n times 3 times uh, v no times d over 2 okay we have a data set of negative images that belongs to a vectorial space of m times n times 3 times d and a half as well okay so these are our two pictorial spaces that define our database and from there we can uh, start with with the problem okay so the first thing that we do is to i mean um, to analyze what type of data we are dealing with and um, that's kind of simple okay i'll move this down uh, okay so our, our raw data is I mean is our images okay so we have this n and we have this defined as m this is the number of rows this is the number of columns and now we define our third dimension which is uh, the color space which has three okay so we say that our images uh, belong to this pictorial space of m times n times three okay so what is the type of data we are dealing with in this case uh, it's a pixel and this pixel uh, has 24 bits and these 24 bits are divided into three, three, um, three clusters of eight bits, and each one is 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 assigned to to a, to a type of, of of color. For example, we can be using RGB or we can be using HSB. Okay, but in this case, we're working with our RGB images. So, from our raw data that we have seen over here, now the next step is to move to tidy data. This tidy data is the organized data, the model uh, process and organize of our raw data. And basically, uh, there are a few steps that you have to do in order to get from the raw data to the tidy data, that is merging or transformation, for example okay but uh, in this case there is no need to transform our image uh, images we're okay working with the RGB color space and in in the case of the merging um, we could be using uh, the uh, uh, vectorial space such as this uh, but that will only make things uh, slower so there's no need to do that and uh, we will we can do that but uh, as we're iterating through the images in order to obtain um, I mean to learn what we want to do and make the classifier okay so we say that uh, with respect to the TV data we're, we're just fine and we have the same images uh, that have this vectorial space okay they have this vectorial space from right over here and from right over here okay so from there we can do the image analysis now here is where we try to solve the, the problem okay and there is a, a very very uh, simple assumption that we do on this and it is the fact that the images uh, are more bright and how do we measure the bright the brightness of an image uh, we can use a histogram of the image of course using the three color spaces or you can transform that to gray gray um, to a color space of gray gray values but it, it will be kind of the same so uh, we know that this histogram has values between 0 and 255 because a pixel has is codified by 8 bits here is the frequency of of the of that pixel okay um, so in 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 the case of the bright images we're going to have something like this okay and in the ca in the case of night images they are less bright they are not that 
they don't have that much brightness and so we have kind of the same but our histogram looks like this okay so as you can note there is a, a big difference there and we can prefer, we can create a parameter c that will divide these two images and based on that how do we how do we learn that c constant that is the question after after we get to that point okay and then is where we pass to the learning stage so my idea to solve this problem uh, what's kind of easy uh, the only thing that we needed to do is that uh, we needed to perform uh, a double sum on each of the images with intention to take uh, the mean okay and this is going to be divided m times n times 3 okay so this is the e this is the mean of each of the images and that is going to uh, to get us a value c prime and so we define that uh, what we do is that we we, we make the the um, we take the medium of if of each of the images that we have uh, so so that we obtain a value c c c prime total just per se and then we define that uh, between the number of positive or negative images that we have okay so come on so we're going to obtain um so we're going to obtain uh, one value which is going to be uh, used for the positive images and we're going to have another value which is going to be used for the negative images and then what we do is that we take uh, the mean of these two values, so we divide it this between two, and that's going to be that's going to be our final constant c. And this constant c is going to be our learning um, parameter that's going to divide this. Okay, so you can think uh, this uh, like a decision tree, or perhaps um, yeah, more of like a, a decision tree. So the only thing that we do is that we learn this constant c in order to 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 make our algorithm. Okay, now we are on the code. Okay, so the first thing is to import all the letters that we will need, such as num by the OS and cv2. Okay, so next is going to iterate through all the images. We're going to use the OS that lists their command, and we're going to check the images and start with b. Those are the daylight images. Next, we're going to uh, create a list which is going to be called TV, and we're going to sum all the images and we're going to divide them by uh, by them size in, in order to obtain the mean the mean pixel of that image. Okay. And uh, next, we're going to do the same thing, but for the negative image. So we use the command image that starts with as well in order to detect only the images that that, that are in, and we're going to store that in a list which is uh, as you can see named as TN. Okay. We divide the image by the size, and uh, we create an else statement in order to avoid any other problem okay and now the thing is that uh, we're going to finally uh, print and to to calculate the value theta and uh, for that we just take the mean of the two values that we have encountered and that's our theta the list that we haven't created before okay so after that what we're going to do uh, we're going to create the code in order to to make um, to test our, our threshold that we have learned from the images and we're going to do the same by creating um, we're going to start important new by cv2 and all this and we're, then we're going to create an uh, a for loop and we're going to check the images that start with p or with n it doesn't matter we're going to read the, the frame and the next thing it's very simple we just need to create uh, if a statement, if else a statement, in order to detect uh, whether the the mean pixel of the image is, is above our threshold or is is um, below our threshold. Okay. Uh, so as you can see in the code, we're, we're, we're just using and creating that that if if else a statement, and so we print a day or night. Um, we just print that in order to show what we have okay so we show the image for that we are using OpenCV divided for python and there you go we have our images that have day day uh, another day another day and next we're going to start with the night images okay and that's it